Hey learners, hope you all are doing well. I am sure you all are taking care of yourself. Let's start with our Vedic Math series without wasting time. I am sure you all are excited to learn new different Vedic Maths techniques. So stay tuned till the end. In the previous session, we discussed about how to find out square of numbers ending with 5. Today's session will take one more such Vedic trick that is multiplication of two numbers whose unit digit is adding to 10 and the remaining digit are same in multiplicant as well as in multiplier. I hope you understood what we are going to discuss today. Today also we are going to use the same sutra that is Ekadikena Purvena that is one more than the previous which we had used for finding out square of numbers ending with 5. So let's start. We are going to see multiplication of numbers whose last digit add to 10. That is the addition of unit place digit is 10 and the remaining digits are same. Let's see some example that is 66 into 64. Tell me the addition of unit place digit that is 6 plus 4 comes out to be 10. And the remaining digit in both multiplicand and the multiplier are same. Is it? One more example, 107 into 103. The addition of unit place digit is 10. And the remaining digit in both the numbers are same. One more, that is 99 into 91. Tell me, addition of 9 and 1 is 10. And the remaining digits are same. 59 into 51. 9 plus 1 is 10. And the remaining digits are same. I hope you are getting it. This will also be solved using specific technique because the number combinations are restricted. Now let's see how to find out such multiplication using Vedic trick. That is 66 into 64 as an example I have taken. Now always remember here also the answer will have two parts. Okay. Now the first part is according to the sutra one more than the previous. Now tell me what comes before unit that is unit place is 6 and 4. But what comes before it that is 6. Now what is the consecutive digit after 6 that is 7 multiply 6 with 7 you get answer 42 and that is going to be the first part of your answer right and the second part is very simple just multiplication of unit place digit so 6 into 4 is 24 combine this we'll get 4224 and that is your answer isn't it quite easy yes if you do it by traditional method Obviously, it will take more time because you need to do four multiplications. That is four will be multiplied with this six next time with this second six. Then six will be multiplied with first six, then six with second six. And then you'll get two rows that you have to add. Obviously, it is going to be more time consuming. Vedic is within seconds. And if such situation come in many aptitude exams or you are appearing for some entrance exam where time factor is very important you have to use such techniques now some might be wondering how this technique is similar to finding square of numbers ending with five if you observe the principle which we are seeing here is applicable there also for example if you want to find out 65 square means you are going to multiply 65 with 65. But when you multiply 65 with 65, the, the principle is same. See, addition of unit place, that is 5 plus 5 
comes out to be 10 and the remaining digit in both the number are same. I hope you understood. Clear? One more example we'll see that is multiplying 107 into 103. Does it satisfy the criteria? Yes. Addition of unit digit is 10 and the remaining digit in both the numbers are same. Now what will be the first part? What comes before unit? That is 10. And what is after 10? 11. 10 into 11 is 110. Is it clear to you? Yes. We are going to see one technique in Vedic to multiply any number by 11. Then you'll come to know it is quite easy to find out answer of multiplication of any number with 11. I hope you got it. And the second part, as usual, multiply the unit place digit. That is 7 into 3 is 21. Combine this, you'll get the answer. Therefore, multiplication of 107 with 103 is 11,021. Isn't it easy? Yes. One more for your practice. Let's multiply 91 into 99. Does it satisfy the criteria? Yes. 1 plus 9 comes out to be 10 and the remaining digits are same. Now tell me what will be the first part of your answer. What comes before unit? That is 9. And what is after 9? 10. Multiply 9 with 10, you'll get 90. And 90 is the first part of your answer. And the second part is multiplying 1 with 9, that is 9. But always remember the second part has to be of 2 digit. So if the answer comes 1 digit, Prepend the answer with a zero. That is zero 09. When you'll combine this both, 9009 is your answer. That simple it is. Isn't it? Yes. Many more such tricks coming in the next subsequent sessions. Therefore, keep watching and don't forget to comment in the comment box. And don't forget to share with your friends. One more example for your practice, 51 into 59. Let's see, can you do it in your mind itself? Okay, what will be the first part? What comes before unit? That is 5. What is after 5? 6. 5 to 6 is 30. And 30 is the first part of your answer. And the second part is just multiplication of unit. That is 1 into 9. 9. Don't forget to put 1, 0 before it. Combine it, you'll get the answer. So 3009 is the answer. Quite simple. Okay. Let's take one more example. 72 into 78. Now what is before the unit place? 7. What comes after 7? 8. 7 into 8 is 56. And what is after what is at a unit place that is 2 and 8 and 2 into 8 is 16 that is the second part of your answer join it and you'll get the answer that is 5616 quite easy isn't it yes let's take one more example to wind up with today's session 84 into 86 now, what is before unit? That is 8. And can you tell me what comes after 8? 9. 8 into 9 is 72. And 72 is the first part of your solution. And what is at unit place? 4 and 6. Multiply 4 into 6. That is 24. And join it. You'll get 7224 as answer that simple it is that's all for today as always keep learning keep evolving and don't forget to click on the bell icon see you in the next session